Shakur Stevenson gives Gervonta Davis his flowers right now. Says that him and Tank Davis are generationally great talents in the sport of boxing. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Dope picture Shakur Stevenson posted, and you see him. He has the backstage pass. Tank Davis knocked out Rolando Roley Romero. Shakur Stevenson on his verified page says, generational talents, check. And that's obviously paying homage, saying that Tank is a hell of a fighter after his performance. And I could tell it's after the performance the picture was taken because I believe there was an elbow that caused a knot on Tank's head and he's light-skinned, so, you know, it showed right up. Shakur Stevenson also posted, special fighter, come from nothing, I respect it right and going into this fight i follow shakur on all his social media and whatnot he was picking tank to beat roly he didn't think roly had at all what it took to beat to beat a guy like gervonta davis and he was right he was truthfully right because tank ended the show in the sixth round it's gone viral now and it just shows you the star power of tank to be honest that everybody not just the boxing community and boxing celebrities but just all celebrities are tapped in i seen rudy gay um snoop dogg posted something with tank and roly and several other celebrities so it just shows you and and keep in mind everyone in or around the division i think it was michelle rivera el rayo ryan garcia shakur stevenson all these guys in or around tanks division showed up to his fight and there was almost twenty thousand people there Showtime did a hell of a job. Roley did a hell of a job being the B-side and the villain. And it was overall great for boxing. I like this post from Shakur Stevenson. There's no cloud chasing and he's giving props to Javante Davis. Now, I know some people, they want to pit these two young brothers against each other. They've sparred in the past. And, you know, a lot of people want to see that fight. Me, I'm not too much worried about it, to be honest, because this is what people do. You look at music. You look at J. Cole, he's nice, he's nasty. You look at Kendrick Lamar, he's nice, he's nasty. You look at Drake, nice, he's nasty, right? And that's what it reminds me of when it comes to Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, and Javante Davis. Which one pick one? One's Drake, one's Kendrick Lamar, and one's J. Cole. They're all very dope. They're all very skillful. They have their different approaches. You know, J. Cole might make you feel this in a, a track, Kendrick Lamar, his artistry is crazy. He's going to have the crazy visuals to go along with it and the unique storytelling and vocabulary. Then you got Drake. He's going to make something for the for the club. Y'all better not come to my studio with that fate. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Drake going to have some bangers on the album, some rap, some singing. You know, it just that's what it reminds me of those three. J. Cole, Kendrick and Drake. So. It is what it is. If they fight, they fight. You know, I'll definitely tune in and promote the fight and things like that. But uh, another reason I'm not too worried about it is because boxing fans, I don't live in a fantasy world. A lot of y'all live in this goofy fantasy world. Shakur just became a champion in a new division, two division champion. He's been destroying the champions he fought at 130. It's, it's so far so good. Jamel Herring, who just retired. And then also... Um, the oscar valdez he dominated that but he's at 130 so until he moves up in the actual divisions of tank and then you know then we'll see what happens but i'm not going to spend too much effort on my part when i don't see the fight happening plus you always have to keep in mind the business of boxing i know this is the less than glamorous part of bot g l a m first class up in the sky <laughs> this is the less than glamorous part of boxing but it's a reality the bob arum when has he made a fight with somebody else you know when is pbc and bob arum did hella business together and the one thing that people keep saying is deontay the bronze bomber wilder and tyson fury but that was already established business before top rank was in the business of Tyson Fury so I don't really even count that you know and then the other fight was Floyd Mayweather versus Pacquiao but that fight they would be leaving so much money on the table 
it would have been foolish for HBO and Showtime not to work together for Pacquiao's people and Floyd's people to not work together because that was a fight that broke all box office records. So if you didn't work with each other, the fight wouldn't happen. You wouldn't appease the fans and it wouldn't have made all that money for all parties involved. But you got to be realistic. Crawford and Spence and stuff. Those fights are great and stylistically great and both great fighters. You got Tank and Shakur, but there's also different parameters. Pacquiao was a standalone million plus selling person. And of course, Floyd Mayweather, easy work. I ain't got to worry about it. Like I said before, of course, Floyd was. So you you couple the two together. Shakur has never been on pay-per-view. That's just the reality. The way he's been moved, he's never been on pay-per-view. Tank Davis has. I don't think Shakur's ever sold, you know, the 20,000. So just the politics of boxing, the different sides of the street and, and stuff. Would they see fit to risk their chess pieces to make a fight that they don't necessarily know if it'll be as big as, you know, the fans. See, boxing fans aren't realistic at all. I've been trying to tell you. Boxing fans, they like I said, they're not going to like what I'm saying because it doesn't suit your fancy as a boxing fan. A boxing fan is just like, shut up, give me the fight. But you can keep saying shut up and give me a fight and still not get the fight because that's not how the business works, right? And I'm not saying I prioritize the business over the fight game. I'm just a realist and I'm realistic. We don't even know what Shakur Stevenson versus Javante Davis what, what it would even do to the point where, again, top rank would risk their their piece, uh, Mayweather promotion risk their piece and, you know, have to team up with ESPN and Showtime or whatever to accomplish that. So I just feel like when the time gets there, like when you cross that bridge, when you get to that bridge, period. Shakur is great. He's doing his thing. Javante Davis is a superstar. He's great. He's doing his thing. Period. Let me know how I did in this video. Subscribe for more boxing content. I'm the best in the business. Shout out to Shakur. Shout out to Javante Davis. Maybe they fight in the future, but we'll see. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sun now. Get it. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.